Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Baldwin and welcome to a new inbox review. We are going to be taking a look at an F22A Raptor. This is by Atelier, it's in 148 scale. This was released 2022, um, however the kit inside the plastic, the moulding, is from 1999, so it's a little bit on the old side. Um, it retails around about the £30 mark, I mean you'll get 10% off if you go to uh, the Genesis Models website. So, nice good bit of box art going on with this um, we've got apparently we've got three markings inside here um, the colors aren't anything majorly different um, so let's just open this up and check this out we'll have a look at the instructions and decals in a bit let's just jump straight in with some plastic Right, so we've got a couple of um, nice big sheets of plastic just here. Um, quite a bit of plastic for your money considering really. I mean, you're getting quite a big jet here for 30 pounds. Um, if we take a look at it, the surface so far, I mean, looks very nice and smooth, right? I'm not seeing any sort of um, wonkiness going on with it at all. The surface detail itself, if we bring you in close, you could see, I mean, I'm seeing pretty much throughout this kit that it is, it's got this very sort of nice sort of crisp right sharp consistent surface detail on here not seeing many rivets and whatnot but i think really we're going it's got a nice bit of accuracy um, with all this kind of detail that it does have on here um i'm kind of looking not really seeing any sort of nasty flash or anything like that going on with the kit um, if we just flip this over, well actually we don't need to flip this over, um, this is our instrument display panel, bit of a cheat here, you know, they've gone off and they've gone right, you're going to have to have decals, end of, no detail, right, so not a good start on the whole internal detail side of things, bit of exhaust detail just here, uh, as you can see, it is kind of just okay, we've got a cockpit tub, here um, and yes you will see throughout this review that actually internal detail on this kit it just isn't the best right um, moving along I'll show you this one in a little bit actually um, but yeah we've got our top two more sprues just here we've got our sort of top nose section and bottom nose section again surface detail if you look at it it is looking nice and quite crisp um, you know it'll take a wash rather rather nicely not feeling any problems with that at all the bottom part as well i mean again internal detail okay we've got a bit of detail just inside there but it does look a little bit basic and almost kind of maybe not accurate but side walls virtually nothing going on inside there um, again we've got some more internal detail here for like weapons bays again looks quite basic and then nothing up the side of the walls um, i do believe we've got sort of like the rear landing gear here which again we've got some detail there we do actually have um eject pin marks as well little bit nasty to deal with there um, i forgot to show you in the weapons bay as well we've got three of these ejector pin marks but it is a kit from 1999 you know there was a lot of that going on back then P um, a lot of manufacturers have kind of sorted that problem there with ejector pin marks ejector seat we do have some nice detail actually going on on the sides there and on the back with the ejector seat flip it over um, and we do have um, some seat belts just in there uh, personally i'll just kind of sand those kind of things away the um things like landing gear bits and everything mm, you know the flash is actually not looking too bad actually for atelier in all honesty uh, if i flip it over yes you know on the landing gear you know there was a eject pin mark just there and then there's one just on there as well they are here and there right not too bad but as I say, internal detail, not exactly looking the best. Uh, moving along here, we do have our wheels. Wheels are looking pretty nice and solid. We do have our doors and stuff for things like our um, weapons bays. Not looking too bad, actually, inside there. Uh, very sort of plain on the opposite side. Uh, arrestor hook, that kind of stuff again yes we've got eject pin marks just here and there little ones uh, a few other bits of detail 
um, again not looking too too bad um, this final piece just here, I'll save this one for last um, did I say no it wasn't supposed to be this one sorry Ah, it was this one sorry um, I'll just say this one till last because the, the the surface detail on this kit has been quite consistent really nice really sharp right um, and you kind of have that same sort of level of detail hopefully as you can see there with the things like the recessed panel lines but it does have this kind of fading going on in places on this bottom one um, you can sort of see maybe here I don't know well you can see that it does seem to start to fade uh, especially sort of at the back here i mean i can't actually get my nail into this here it just kind of has a faint looking line i right? cannot get my nail in there so you won't get a wash in there a little bit better on this side uh, it's just very sort of like spots here and there on this bottom side where it's really sort of faded the recess panel line so a little bit of rescribing before you kind of even get started on on, on this one just to make sure it takes a wash uh, again we've got some weapons bay just here and again very sort of basic looking detail with not really much going up the sides and the walls of weapons bays and wheel wells and all that kind of stuff so that is basically all the plastic which kind of hopefully gives you a good idea of this kit um, the decals now this is an italian company because they're called italier obviously um, which means they've really sort of teamed up which makes sense with um, people like cartograph really good people for making decals so these are going to be really nice decals that go well with micro salt and set here is the instrument display panel decals that it wants you to put on that very plain instrument displaying panel which is a bit of a shame they haven't bothered to put any detail in that they do feel very glossy you know they they very smooth very sort of glossy decals um, that kind of thing has never bothered me because i always go off and put some sort of um, varnish on top of my decals anyway um, very looking very neat all the colors seem to be in registry um, we've got all our sort of weapons it's nice how they've given them nice call-outs dbu-31s and aim-120s and aim-9s right nicely sort of sectioned off and marking sets a b and c so you can you know nicely know where all these decals are and where they're going and all that so shouldn't have any problems with them um, instructions let's take a quick look at these you know um, sort of standard quality paper um, not really any color um, the cockpit again the, the internal details are not going to be the best so you know eject seat goes together pretty simple pretty easy goes into our cockpit tub and straight into the top part of our front um, fuselage section then we start kind of putting all the bits on the inside that sort of make this up like weapons bays and um, landing gear bays and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Right, and then this is where this kit's gonna have a problem. Never built this kit, but I can just tell, right, um, it's gonna be a bit iffy just here. You know, bringing these two front nose section fuselage sections together, and then you've got the two big pieces for the rear view fuselage and wing section coming together. Having those two big pieces be okay on their own, but then bringing them together, I can just see right there that is going to have some sort of an issue, right? Um, whether you've got to really sort of fill it, sand it, and really sort of smooth it off so it doesn't look like it's had these two big pieces coming together. Um, maybe a bit of a challenge just there. Um, also, um, I've never again done this, but I can just guess I'll eat my hat if it's not true but these um, weapon bay doors and stuff if you wanted them closed they're not going to go together that well I just get an absolutely banging feeling that's the way it's going to be um, opening is probably going to be your better option but if you wanted to close them, there's probably going to be a bit of feeling the sanding scribing and stuff to get them to close nicely if you ask me uh, then it shows off all the weapons and where they go I mean these instructions do seem as though they're going to get you there and get everything sort of altogether it doesn't look very complicated to follow um, and as I say it's just like weapons and stuff then you're putting on the canopy um, ailerons that kind of stuff um, ladders seems pretty sort of easy to follow then we have three sets of markings right which actually are in color which is quite nice um, but as you could see um, they're basically the same sort of paint scheme on there just different slightly different kind of 
tail numbers to, to, to go with it, which actually reminded me, I didn't actually show you the canopy because it's quite cool how they've um, sort of tinted it out. All right, so it's not a clear canopy, which is rather, rather nice. Hopefully you can see they're looking very, very clear, clear canopy. Uh, I don't know if it's just mine that I have here, but um, you know, there's been a little bit of a scratch, a little scuff, nothing major, but does look quite, quite nice. Anyway, so rather nice touch there for them to tint out your canopy rather than having to sort of tint it out yourself with um, all sorts of kind of clear kind of paints. So overall, I mean, it's an old kit. It is only 30 pounds. There are other F22s out there. I know has a go we do them, but you are gonna be paying a bit of an arm and a leg to get those kind of kits. And yes, they are most likely better. Again, this is kind of like a cheaper version that you could build up if you want to go down that route of just having a bit of a cheap build rather than buying an expensive kit that's a bit better. Uh, if you did want to do this kit, I mean, as I say, it's the, the internal detail on this is a bit sort of bland. So you might want to sort of close things up, close up weapon bays, close canopies, um, that kind of stuff just to hide it a little bit. But if you did want to sort of spruce it up, I mean, there's, there's most likely stuff like Eddard Photo Etch and all that kind of goodies out there to spruce up your internal detail. Um, there's going to be a fit issue or two on this. I just know there is. Um, but if you don't mind a bit of filling sand inscribing you know this should actually turn out to be quite a nice build so it is a quite a, a, you know i'd say it is a thumbs up here it is one of these builds i do want to do i do want to do an f22 at some point it is on my bucket list to do so you will see one in the future whether i do the hazagawi or uh, whichever manufacturer but you know this is a nice cheap cheerful kit to go out there and you know for something as a big jet like this a, a big jet that is you know 30 pounds 148 scale you know you do get quite a lot for your money so yeah again big thumbs up and hopefully um, this is this video has um, helped you decide whether or not you're going to go out and get this kit or not so as always until next time my name is Bob Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed